Hey guys, we're here today at the Amugi Franken facility. Super excited, we're talking about the finished goalie mask project here. And today I get to talk to Evan Duncanson from Amugi Franken. Thank you for coming. Thank you for all your help on this awesome project. You guys yeah, of have course. been pivotal on providing all the tools, all the holders for this whole project. Everybody knows Amugi for their taps, right? But we have a lot more than that. And a lot of people don't even know that we make milling tools, mm -hmm. right? So we have all these milling tools here today that we use on the goalie mask. So one thing I really didn't know you guys did was the insertable cutters. Yeah. So we used all of our roughing was done with the insertable cutters and it did a great job. We were slinging chips off the glass. It was really great. Well, they're fantastic tools. So this sensor here is specifically for aluminum. It's got the rainbow coating just like the regular alu cuts do. And like you said, they can really remove some material very, very quickly. What was great about those too is it allowed us to reach way down yeah. deep inside the goalie mask on the first setup with you guys' holders that we stacked up nice and long. Everything was super rigid, made a ton of chips, so it was really, really cool. But the star of the show on this thing is the surface finish. Yes. Right, This thing came out absolutely perfect. This is the as machine finish. This is mm -hmm. exactly the way it came off the machine. And all that is thanks to the alu cut line. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so the alu cut line, like I said earlier, this is one of the uh, square tools for roughing. And then we have the ball mills as well. They're very, very sharp. They're all polished. So they produce very, very fine finishing. And this tool can remove some material, right? It's got radial coolant holes, the rainbow coating. This thing will last forever, essentially. Absolutely, <laughs> we've already made a few of these things and I think we are still on our first set of tools, exactly, so everything yeah. is running really, really well. Mm -hmm. So we did use those the flat tools to finish some of the flat features in this yeah. part, but really most of this was done with a six millimeter ball mill. That's really what did the large majority of finishing all of that held inside the FPC collet system. And so it's one tool to assemble it and disassemble it, right? You don't need a shrink fit system or anything like that, right? It's just one T-handle torque wrench. As our tool list grew, the farther we got into the project, we learned more and more. Amugi Franken was able to send us all the tools, all the holders we needed right on the spot. Everything, I think, was really stocked in the States for the most yeah. part, so it all came really, really fast, including one of the other tools that we used here. We have a little one millimeter ball so, you know, this really, yep. really big part, we ended up needing a one millimeter ball end mill to get some of the really fine details. Uh, you can see some of these corners in here, nice little half millimeter corner radius inside. All the engraving that we did, that was all done with the one millimeter ball. And the and, screws here, right? Yep, the screws, of course, yep. really fine detail. The, the, the mask may look like it was screwed on, but we actually machined each of those screws, all that detail in there with a one millimeter ball. So that tool roughed and finished two of these parts mm -hmm. and I think again still going. So we're super excited to finally see this thing all done in person so Evan again thank you and Amugi Franken for everything you've contributed to this project. It's been huge, it's been a great success. Hope we can do more in the future so right. thank you very much. Awesome.